Okay, so we're about to find out if this is going to be worth it or not. I am definitely a little bit terrified, but I really have been wanting to do this for quite a bit of time. So please pray for me. Hopefully things go well. If we do see something, we see something. If not, then we don't, you know. I will probably come back with better equipment because obviously I'm using like a really crappy microphone. I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's not the best, but it's, you know, crispy enough to do the job. Uh, and clear enough to do the job so today we're gonna do something that really feels like a bad idea okay now to give you guys context before we go any further about two years ago okay we me and a group of buddies we were over here in this very parking lot that I'm in and we were uh, just hanging out we're just you know chilling and all that and we were bored out of our minds and we really, really wanted to do something, you know, just for fun. You know, we were about to go cruise somewhere else and, you know, just kick it somewhere else because we were just so bored. We were just really wanting to do something. And lo and behold, our, our fucking prayers were heard about doing something, okay? There was another group of friends that had a few people from where we live at and a few people that we know from this town, okay? Now, this town is pretty big. It's got a population of like, uh, I want to say maybe like, I don't know, 50,000 people, something like that. So it's a pretty big city. Um, I, would, I wouldn't actually call it a city, maybe. I don't know. I, maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. But the area that we're heading to, okay? That night, they were coming back from an abandoned church and supposedly haunted church i'm not for sure okay now we ourselves decided to wait for them at the mcdonald's parking lot that's right over there okay now i wanted to go over there and actually um and actually do the filming uh at the tables that they got over there but unfortunately uh i just really want to get going on this and i just did not want any distractions so or any urges about uh getting something from mcdonald's right now because i'm never really feeling mcdonald's so they meet us up over here at the mcdonald's and we decided to tag along with them because they told us that, hey, this church, we just were at this church and it's supposedly abandoned. And apparently, they all said the same thing, that they heard a woman screaming from across the forest, across the street from the church. And that's when they decided to go ahead and leave. Because uh, leading up to that moment, they hadn't been dealing with anything. There was nothing going on. Everything was chill and all this and that. But they as soon as that lady screamed uh that's whenever they left that's whenever they just gave up and bounced okay so um so we decided to tag along with them we go to this church nothing happened okay nothing happened however there are apps on phones where you can download them and you can go ahead and like use them as in like evp recorder or whatever and um and so one of our buddies did that before we left from McDonald's because it was a whole group of people. It was like 10 people at that church and they came back to this McDonald's and they picked us up uh, to go with them. And, you know, we they did all they needed to grab any like at least on the app store. I mean, it was kind of pointless because it was literally it was it was I'm pretty sure it was like a fake. It was definitely fake. I mean, it had ads popping up all over it, but he downloaded it. And we went back and he started using the thing. And there were some voices heard, but again, it was probably a fake sort of thing because at the same time, I had ads all over it, right? So, right now, what I'm about to do by myself is go to this church, okay? Now, again, this is something I've been wanting to do over the summer for a while. I wanted to do it mostly in the summer because while we were there, okay, for both times. Now, the first time, again, we heard nothing. We just, we didn't, we heard nothing except for that thing on the, on the phone, but in reality, I'm pretty sure it was bullshit. But... This, the first time around, okay, while we were there, it definitely got cold. It got really, really cold. Now, throughout the day, it was definitely warm, okay? This was, I think, either during August or early September. Like, the first few weeks of September this happened uh, back in 22. And we it was definitely still warm. Here in Missouri, it gets warm still in September. So, then, when it got cold like the way it did, it definitely spooked us a little bit, okay? Now... 
we decided to pack it up. We were there for maybe like, I want to say maybe 45 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. We leave, okay? We decided to just go off and do and just head home. There was a little bit extra to the story, but um, we had another buddy of ours that was here that had a badass Mustang. And he told us there was an abandoned plot of land that was supposedly like, you know, had unfortunately some mortars done there. But we went to it and really there was nothing. It was just creepy forest. That's all it was. Um, we checked it out. Nothing much there. So then... From there on, a few weeks later, we decided to go back with three new different people, okay, that had not been to this church yet. Now, one of them supposedly is a big person on, like, spiritual stuff and all that crap. He even brought, like, a rosary and all that um, to see if he could sense something was there. Now, at this church, it, it, there is an abandoned, abandoned cemetery. Well, not abandoned, but there is, an, a, there is a cemetery. God, I can't fucking talk. It's so late at night. So, this dude would bring him along. He says he senses something and this and that, but I don't really buy it too much. I'm just like, dude, I, I really don't buy it too much. Um, I'm off like I, I I'm I'm a believer, but uh, sometimes I'm I'm more like not really until I really see something. Uh, I do I believe that maybe there is an afterlife. There is something uh, waiting for us all uh, after it's all said and done. Kinda, yeah, I do believe it. But um, <clears throat> that night, you know, I really didn't I. I didn't sense really anything. I didn't feel uncomfortable. I didn't feel creepy. I mean, it was creepy, yes, but it's because of church and a, and a fucking cemetery. Of course, it's going to feel creepy. So, but that second time around, you know, he brought a rosary. He hung it up, like, by his hand. And, like, you know, I'm pretty sure it was just the wind. It was moving by itself and this and that. Um, and what else was there? Um, we didn't hear the woman screaming the first time around. And we didn't hear the woman screaming the second time around. But with by myself, hopefully... I really hope not, but it would be interesting for the video. I hope I do hear this woman screaming, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure it's one of those things about the death whistle. I'm not for sure, but but there is other houses around there. There's only one house next to the cemetery and the church down the street from it. It's not too far, but there's also a... Um, let me see what else is there. There is also a house, I want to say like half a mile down the road. So I don't know, maybe it could have been people fucking with us. I don't know. But now that you guys know the story, the other thing. So I did buy a book over the summer. I want to say it was like in June I bought it. That I started reading up on Route 66. Okay, Route 66 is supposedly one of the more haunted roads in all of America. Okay, so... I've been reading up on the book, um, and it's been fun reading it. I still have a few chapters to go to, and I completely forgot about that book since, like, July. I mean, I was reading it so good, and then I just completely left it because I've been looking for work and stuff like that and plotting to do this uh, for so long. But in that book, we are going to go visit some of the places along Route 66 that are supposedly haunted. There is one about um, a little girl. There, actually, I think you guys know what it's called. It's called the Sally House in Kansas. And that house in particular is actually not too far from where I live. So hopefully one night I will go to the Sally House and a few other places along Route 66. I don't think uh, the Sally House runs along Route 66 because Route 66, that's like south of Missouri and shit like that. But all the way up to Kansas, though, where that house is at. It's definitely creepy. I've seen some documentaries and I've seen some, you know, things about it on uh, BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed Unsolved. I definitely want to go see it. I definitely want to go see that one. Um, and supposedly there's like a goat man something in Rolla, Missouri. So I definitely want to go see that as well. But we'll see how I'm feeling after this first night. We'll see how creepy this gets. So right now, we're about to put the car in drive and head on over. Here we go. By the way, just real quick, this is where I'm going to pit stop again over here. Uh, you guys can kind of see the golden arcs through the trees, but that's the McDonald's over here. This is the parking lot that we were at, uh, chilling over here. But I'm going to pit stop again on the way back just to give you guys an update on how I feel afterwards. So, But uh, now, heading off to the church.
Okay. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay, I'm here. And there's a lot of cattle over there. My car is right here. And this is the church. You can't really see it, but... Let's see if I can... There we go. Nah, it's not that great. But that's the church right there. It's a lot creepier than I last remembered. And I'm not trying to be super disrespectful. I'm going to turn off this light to make it a little more eerie. But that is the graveyard over there. And like I said, it was a whole group of people that came to this thing. And man, it was terrifying as fuck. And also that bird, whatever, out there. But, like I said, cemetery over there. Someone left, like, some sort of, like, a uh, little light for the loved one over there. And that's, you can't really see it, but that light right there is where, like, some of the forest or woods is over there and shit. And you can see my car right there. My soccer mom car. The Subaru's, by the way, trashed. Not trashed, but it's not doing too good. <laughs> but... I mean, it's a massive ass church, but while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead, kind of explore a little bit. I'm going to go see what this sign over here is. Now, there is a house over there. Hopefully, I'm not, you know, really trespassing anywhere, but there was no trespassing sign. Like I said, please, please pray for me. There's like an RV over there. As you guys can see, it's so creepy over there. I don't know if anybody lives in there, but I'm not going to go too further over here. But it's not too bad, actually. The night sky kind of is pretty lit up. As you guys can look at that church, it's creepy. And that damn bird is even creepier somewhere over there. So apparently over there, that's where the woods at. You guys can see my shadow. What's up? So apparently... That's where the screaming woman came from. The The scream of the woman came from over there. <laughs> or whatever, but... What I'm going to do is explore a little bit over here. Because somebody did actually have the balls to go up there to the church a long time ago. But while I'm also here, I'm going to see if maybe I could pick something on the microphone. I'm so sorry about holding the micro about the camera. I'm terrible holding it. As you guys can see, it's creepy. It's got trees over here. That one single light. And obviously the great, the cemetery. I don't plan on being here too long. Because at the same time, my battery is dying. I'm literally at like a 33%, I believe. What also doesn't help, though, is the fact that there's houses over there. Houses over there. And that house, like I said earlier, over there. But I'm going to go up to the church right here. And again, I'm, supposedly you could hear a woman screaming and that damn bird over there. But while we're here, or bird, I don't even know what it is. But while we're here, let's see if I can maybe set this up somewhere here. I should have brought the tripod until right now. Oh boy. I don't want to get up to the door, bro. I'm fucking scared. But obviously I'm not going to trash anything. Hopefully if anybody sees this, I'm not going to trash this. Actually, change of heart. I'm going to go up to the cemetery. That's what the side of it looks like right there. There's also a uh, like a shed back there. I really am scared if I turn this on. There's a bit of a shed back there. But I'm not going to thrash anybody's property. I'm just going to stay here. It's a pretty ass church though. I will say it's a pretty ass church. It's not, I mean, I know it's super basic, but like I said, it's in the middle of nowhere. You can't really expect much. But as you guys see, there's the light post over there. I really want to set up the camera for a second. And see, I'm so, I'm so sorry about holding the camera. I really am not good at this. I'm trying to actually get a camera. Right now, I'm holding a fucking phone. Let's see if we can pick up some spirits right now. Probably shouldn't put it up there. Okay, you guys see me? Fuck me, this is creepy. Okay, so right now, what I'm gonna do, if it could pick up on the microphone, I'm gonna see if maybe somebody will answer my questions a little bit.
<laughs> That's so creepy. If you guys see anything behind me, please let me know in the comments. But, screw it. Okay, here we go. There's a car coming too. Fuck me. I don't really, I don't want to get in trouble, so if people say I gotta go, I gotta go. But hopefully this isn't a problem. But, um... I really hope this is not a problem. Kind of just waved them off a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and continue the song. Here you guys go. Right, I'm going to face the microphone that way. Is there anybody out here that still wanted to say something before they passed away? My name is Brian. I, uh... I'm just here to uh, investigate this supposedly haunted church, but it doesn't really seem that way. It's not really too creepy. You guys have a really nice sky, really nice night sky out here. It's really pretty. By any chance, do you, uh, do you remember what were your last thoughts were before you passed away? Do you enjoy the night sky out here? How did you pass away? Do you have any regrets? What was the last thing uh, you did before you passed away? Like what was your best memory before you, uh, before you passed away? Hopefully y'all have a good night, take care of yourselves, and stay safe wherever you guys are at. Look, even someone set, set up a little cross for the cemetery, which is nice, it looks nice. There's a sign over there, I don't know what it'll say, but I'm gonna move on from there. Like I said, there's my car, there's the thing over there. No screaming woman. Just yet, I'm facing the microphone now, towards me. But, there's the church again. <laughs> Lord have mercy, I am not really terrified actually. It's not as creepy as I was anticipating, but... Well, okay, I will say this. While on the way here, while passing this the first time around, I definitely got spooked. I was not too happy about doing this. I was about to back out last minute, bro. Um... It doesn't look too bad though. It really doesn't. It doesn't look too creepy. Now I will say this. The last time that we were here, down that way, there's a few houses, okay? Now like I mentioned before, about a woman screaming or whatever. Sometimes the animals do act up quite a bit. So I don't know if that's just the, the caretakers or that's, you know, somebody else or something else that's bothering them. But sometimes they'll burst out. I don't know, maybe you heard it right now while I was recording over here asking them questions. But that little light thing, I want to see it real quick. I don't I want to trash nothing. I don't want to do nothing wrong to anybody. It's just... Honestly, it's not too bad. It's honestly kind of peaceful. I know this is supposed to be a scary video, but it's honestly not too bad. But look at that. It looks like a little, like, a uh, firefly or something. i trying to get both the, uh, my hand and my microphone and the phone itself. 
It's a go. Yeah. Oh my god. You guys hear that? Jesus Christ, that scared me. I thought somebody turned on my car. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, all right. I'm gonna go up to the church right here, and I'm gonna sit down for a second, see if I can maybe pick up something over here. So give me one second. All right. Here's the front entrance of it. I don't know. There we go. There's the front entrance and a microphone and all that but all i'm gonna do here again same thing kind of peep out the landscape and that's a creepy ass spider web right there jesus all right but here we go i'm not gonna stand any further but let me see if maybe i can pick up something here i don't know if i can go inside i'm not gonna do that it's not too bad here I really don't know if this is abandoned. I don't know if my guy has a really good source about this. I don't know. But it doesn't really feel abandoned. But it just feels creepy. But obviously at night. Is anybody around this area still? Was your funeral held here at the church? What was the last thing you remember before you passed away? How did you pass away? Do you like that you uh, were buried over here in a much more spacious uh, place? Do you hate the idea that people say this place is haunted? What do you remember about your life before you passed away? Did you have a big family or did you have a small family? How was your life? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it easy? Was it rough? Thank you for your time. Hope you have a good night. I know this is really, really stupid, but balls to the wall. If you guys see anything behind me, let me know in the comments. Please let me know. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know, but I really want to go up to the shed over there. This is not too bad, but I don't know if it's a good idea or not. This thing is already 15 minutes long. God damn. It's a small area, yes, but it's a very, uh, it's a very, very neat place, though. Like, it doesn't feel super eerie as, uh, as much as I was anticipating, but I'm glad it's not, though. Why, why, why even, why even do that, right? Anyways, we're already here. Might as well head up to the shed over here in the back. The cemetery there again. There's that. Oh man, that might be a little bit too far back even for my liking. I think there might be a basement or something down here. Oh yeah, this is a little bit too much for me. <laughs> yeah, alright, no, there's a car coming. I don't want to get in trouble, but as you guys, I don't know if it's kind of noticeable back there, but there is a... There's a shed now, you can't really see it, and there's like this little thing in the back, but I think I'm gonna just call it a night for now. I really don't want to get in trouble. If this car passes by quick enough, then yeah, I'll go ahead and do it, but it's pretty peaceful so far, so not really worried about it. Okay, they passed by. Alright, I'm gonna go head back there. Fuck it, why not? 
If I get kidnapped, please, everybody know. This life was definitely not worth it. Ah, oh, no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. No te creas, no te creas. So somebody did over there at the last group that we were with. They did actually end up sitting over there uh, to see if anything, you know, came out of the blue. But not really anything popped up. Um, so there's that little shed over there. And then there's that. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of scared about going over there. It's a bit of creepy trees here and there, but nothing too up there. I don't know what that was on my camera. There's that shed there and there's whatever that is. You guys see it now? No, you guys still can't see it. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that may be a bathroom or not. Maybe. But as you guys can see more houses there. This creepy ass tree. It's not even that bad. Yes, still not see it. Wow. Yeah, this just looks like a bathroom or something over here. Here, are like birds and this and that. So you guys, can, now you guys can kind of see. But I don't know what this is. I'm pretty sure this is a bathroom. Yeah, this looks like a bathroom. It has a bit of a creepy tree right behind it. You guys can't see it, but. If that is a bathroom, I don't want to invade, but there you guys go. There's that shed or whatever it is. But yeah, that doesn't look like much over here. So I'm going to head back. It's a really bad idea. You guys can't see me, but I have the camera pointing back at me right now. So if something does pop up, please let me know. My feet are getting wet right now. I have uh, like some Nikes that are really, really thin material, so it's not too great. But this doesn't look too bad. This doesn't look too creepy, but it's definitely fun. Definitely fun. Alrighty, though, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. It doesn't really feel too spooky out here, but doing this by myself is definitely not the worst, but it's not the best feeling in the world. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah, anyways, I don't know if you guys, I don't know, if you see something in the background, let me know. Let me know. It'll make this video a lot more interesting, but it doesn't look like much. It doesn't look like much. Um, again, I don't know if my guy just, you know, was just trying to mess with us or not. I don't know, maybe he's just playing around or not. Now, here's the thing, okay? The car that I brought with me. As you guys see, it's kind of like back there somewhere. I don't know if I've pissed off anybody here. I don't think so. But I know uh, my car's not doing too well in terms of mechanical issues. So we're about to see if it starts up or not. Pretty sure it will. But it's probably going to hesitate a little bit because that is an issue that's been going on with that car. But before we do go, one final look at the church. Again, it wasn't too bad. I got a spider web on me, man. Fuck. Get off me, man. All right, one final look at the church. As you guys can see, it's not too bad. It's pretty chill. I thought, I honestly thought it was going to be a lot worse, but there it is. And there's a cemetery. I don't know what that sign says. I'm not really going to worry about it, but... The shed that we went back there, stairs over there. Yep, looks like about it. Heading back to the car. And just like that, we're back at Grand Old Mickey D's.
my lord and savior <laughs> from all the creepiness okay so finally we're back uh honestly that wasn't too bad i honestly thought that was gonna be a lot worse now i will admit i wanted to record me getting there to the church however it uh <laughs> it definitely kind of settled in a lot harder than i anticipated uh once i got to the church i went by it once went by it twice and went by a third time it took me three tries to just realize okay do we do this or not do i really want to do this and i realized that the car that i the car that i have with me at my disposal disposable right now uh right now it's about to go back in the shop and i told myself i don't know when this car is going to come back out so i don't know i don't know so i said once i hit the third one i said fuck it let's just go ahead and uh and do it so uh, there's cars passing. This is a busy ass McDonald's, by the way. I used to work at this McDonald's a long ass time ago. Um, by the way, if you watched my my experience working at Walmart, this is definitely on the list. This uh, this McDonald's and another McDonald's that I worked at. I'm trying to get back to it actually, because since uh, since I'm trying to be you know more flexible to do this kind of work, I'm trying to go back to some fast food shit. But I have not had any luck whatsoever. I had, I've had a shitty summer finding jobs. But anyways, back to the church. So yeah, once I got there, I mean, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad doing all that shit, but it was definitely, definitely creepy uh, at first. But um, we'll see where uh, the next adventure leads us. Now, like I said, Route 66. Route 66. Let's see where that shit leads us. I do have the book uh, back at home. I'll have to see what's the next nearest uh, landmark of supposed haunted places again this is like a series to kind of explore whether ghosts are real or not I, I i really didn't feel creeped out too bad out there but again my guy probably probably was wrong about it you know maybe it's not that creepy maybe it is maybe it's not i don't know but anyways on to the next image hope you guys enjoyed and uh, i apologize by the way for the really really shitty uh camera work from over there so let's we'll see where the next fucking haunted adventure leads us haunted supposedly no screaming woman unfortunately i was i honestly was hoping that she wouldn't honestly i was hoping she wouldn't have that sounded like a scat pack i was really hoping she wouldn't scream because i knew i was gonna shit bricks with that i mean i was already shitting bricks by the time i passed by the church once you know so uh well three whole fucking times it took me three fucking pass bys to realize if i wanted to do it or not so anyways gotta get this edited real quick and uh Happy October. I'm pretty sure it's going to get up uploaded probably October 1st or some shit. I don't know yet, but hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.